Let's, uh, let's think a minute about uh, a world where electricity was transferred through the air, similar to the way we download or upload uh, data on, on Wi-Fi now. Uh, even, even better than that, think about our cell phone batteries being charged by radiant energy from the sun instead of having to plug our batteries into a charger. Wouldn't that be a, wouldn't that be a nice place? Uh, on the other hand, let's think about not having electricity, things that we would not have. You know, we wouldn't have lighting, we wouldn't have air conditioning, we wouldn't have any of the comforts that we have today without electricity. <coughs> we have Nikola Tesla to thank for all, our, all this, the comfort that we enjoy today with refrigerated air, electricity, lighting. Uh, he, he was the father of uh, the alternating current of electricity. And, and the advantage of that over, over DC electricity, uh, AC can be transferred a lot further than DC electricity can. And at that time, what that did, it made it more economical, it made it more reliable, and could be offered to more of the masses, to more of the population throughout the United States. I'm a student at OSU Oklahoma City, majoring in engineering technology. Uh, specialized, specializing in electrical metering. And I've just recently become intrigued with Nikola Tesla. But he is one of the true geniuses of our times. Uh, so, many, so many inventions that, that he has developed. Uh, Tesla was born Serbian. Uh, Tesla was born Serbian in 1856. Uh, he pursued an engineering training at the University of Prague. After, after receiving his engineering training, uh, he traveled to Paris and worked for Continental Edison, which was a utility company in, in France. Uh, then he migrated to the United States in 1884. Mr. Stone supplied us with um, a demonstration biography speech that well, the topic was Tesla. And a lot of his historical background was covered in that. So I'm going to bypass that. I want to talk about some of his inventions. That, that we use every day in our life that maybe some of us might not be aware of. You know? <coughs> uh, the first thing, of course, is alternating current that I mentioned. Uh, in the 1890s, Nikola Tesla invented x-rays. He invented the radio. A lot of people say Marconi invented the radio. But, and he got credit for that. But later on, Marconi uh, was discovered used 10 of Tesla's patents to, <coughs> to invent this radio. So really, Tesla's the one that invented the radio. Uh, he invented radio remote controls. Uh, he also, at the Chicago World's Fair, demonstrate, demonstrated an improved lighting, a fluorescent lighting system that was powered by high frequency without wires. He was transferring electrical energy power through the air. Uh, PBS uh, developed a very good documentary on Tesla. That, that's where we came up with the, with the, the fluorescent lighting system that I talked about. Uh, in 2000, PBS uh, produced this documentary in several parts, five or six parts. That, and it's really good. They still show it on the air from time to time also. Uh, another invention of Tesla's was called the Tesla coil. Uh, he invented that in 1891, which that was still used today in radios, television, and a lot of the electronic equipment that we still use today. His coil is involved. Uh, according to D.V. D.L. Vajovic of the Tesla Society, 1891, also marked the date of Tesla's U.S. citizenship. During Tesla's time in Colorado Springs, he, spent, he stayed there for about a year from 1899 to 1900, uh, Tesla discovered that the earth and the ionosphere both can be used as conductors, just like wiring is and electricity. 
Tesla lit 200 lamps from a distance of 25 miles without wiring while he was in Colorado Springs. It was also reported in his time in Colorado Springs that Tesla had received intelligent radio frequencies from far outer space. Uh, the radio scopes that we use today in large observatories uh, are based on tes Tesla research, according to the Encyclopedia of Britannica. Returning to New York, Tesla began work on a world broadcasting tower. Tesla expected to provide facilities for sending pictures, messages, weather warnings, and stock reports wirelessly. Also, he envisioned making this world communication tower in, in New York City uh, a central power base that you could power ships at sea or even airplanes in the air, all wirelessly. Uh, project, that project failed due to the financial panic of the time, and J.P. Morgan uh, withdrew his funding. <coughs> In conclusion, we can all see the profound effect Tesla has had on society in the 20th and 21st century. Tesla's research developed products which led to great improvement in our daily lives. In conclusion, a world without Nikola Tesla possibly could be a world without electrical power, radios, remote controls, x-rays, and Wi-Fi for our smartphones of today. Thank you.